YouTube welcome back to my channel and this video I'll be unboxing and testing this brand new Hoover this was sent to me by a company called uh, Otto Grandpa uh, they are on Amazon I'll leave a link down below uh, should you wish to purchase uh, this from Amazon UK by Auto Grandpa. Now, a lot long ago, I also reviewed another uh, vacuum cleaner by Hooter. Uh, there was also on Amazon, I purchased it. However, it didn't turn out to be as good, even though the reviews are pretty nice on that uh, vacuum cleaner. But unfortunately, I was my experience it was just average. The suction power wasn't as good. So I'm hoping with this one, uh, this is a much improved and a better uh, vacuum cleaner than the one I had before. So what I'll do is I'll unbox this uh, vacuum cleaner and also at the same time I'll be comparing this against the Hooter vacuum cleaner and see uh, which one performs better or is this one any better than what I had from before. So without wasting any more time, uh, let's quickly get started. So having a look at the box, as you can see, it says here a vacuum cleaner uh, with the connected to thoroughly clean the inside quickly clean tiny sundry in the car dry and wet application both and with brush i'm sure uh, quite a few accessories inside the box the model number is 2002 it's 106 watt a dc 12 wet forward slash dry vacuum cleaner nothing much on the box guys so all i'll do is we'll quickly unbox this and see uh, what's inside the box So inside the box let's have a look then we have this pipe along with the hose as you can see in a very typical fashion in such vacuum cleaners okay so what else do we have inside then we have the actual hoover itself so let's get the hoover out there we go and it looks pretty much the same as it did with those that hooter uh, vacuum cleaner that i had before that a vacuum cleaner also had a flashlight also had um, a power button along with exactly the same chip as this one has so it'll be interesting to see how this performs it could be the same company maybe a sister company uh, producing the same vacuum cleaner as hooter but this is obviously grandpa uh, like i said it says here on top as well auto grandpa uh, car accessories they do car accessories as well like I said guys, I'll leave a link down below should you wish to purchase this. On the other end, you got this DC 12 volt. This will plug into your car's uh, socket, the DC 12 volt socket, and it will power this thing up. Okay, putting this away, what else have we got in the box? We got more accessories. We got yet another hose, as you can see here. So let's get this out as well. There we go, guys. So this is the actual um, hose and the pipe, which will fit at the front of the vacuum cleaner. Okay, so we also have this brush as well, typically like we have with most tubers of this category. All right, also we have this manual, I think the vacuum cleaner product specification, giving you the basics. I'm sure most of you probably won't be interested, but just in case if you are, you have that option in the box. Okay, and also just like the Hooter vacuum cleaner, we also have this case, just like here you can see it says here Auto Grandpa and car accessories and so this hoover should fit in this very very nicely you can hold this from the top as well once your vacuum cleaner is, is inside so after unboxing uh, this is what you get like i said to you earlier uh, this pipe the main pipe along with the hoses then you got this uh, hose there as well the pipe which will attach to the front of the hoover along with a brush and a pipe in case if you find it hard to remove dust or uh, vacuum the carpet so what i'll do is i'll be going to my car which is quite filthy i will be testing this hoover along with the hooter uh, hoover or vacuum cleaner i know a lot of people don't uh, like me calling it hoover so i'm trying my best to call it a vacuum cleaner something i saw in my video from last time when i reviewed the hooter uh, vacuum cleaner so i'll be testing both these vacuum cleaners along and see which one performs better so without wasting any more time uh, let's go downstairs and let's quickly have a look and see how they perform so people i'm in my car right now it's in san kashkai as you can see uh, the car mat is full of dust it's quite nasty quite dirty i purposely left it like this so that i could review the hoover uh, that i just spoke to you about which is uh, the grand bar a car vacuum cleaner so in a, just in a few seconds i will try to clean this up and see how this goes so one half of the mat i will clean with the hotter uh, vacuum cleaner that's the one i reviewed a few months ago and then the other half of the mat i will be cleaning with the grandpa vacuum cleaner and see how they both perform here so without further ado let's quickly get started 
So people, there we go. This is the the grandpa, the auto grandpa, a car vacuum cleaner. Like I just unboxed it a few minutes ago. As you can see, it's now plugged into that 12 volt car socket just there, guys. As you can see, so the cable is quite long to be honest. It's I think about four or five meters long. So that should pretty much get to all parts of your car, even if you have a big SUV like the Nissan Qashqai. So it's plugged into a 12 volt socket, like I said, guys, and here we go. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try without any pipe or hose. I just open up this like that. So we're gonna have a look and see how this performs. So here we go. I've just noticed one thing if you remember guys from my previous video on the Hotter um, vacuum cleaner uh, there was a switch there uh, just uh, next to the power button at the bottom there that used to turn this flashlight on whereas in this Hoover or vacuum cleaner uh, the light actually comes on as soon as you switch uh, the vacuum cleaner on as you can see there we go on the carpet you can see the flashlight going all the way across in the darker areas so it remains on by default uh, unlike the hotter vacuum cleaner on which you had to press the button to manually switch it on and off it's down to the personal preference guys but i don't mind being it on or off because when you're cleaning in my opinion uh, the the car especially the mats it's quite dark and there's good to have the flashlight on by default which i think it's a good move a bit more improved uh, on uh, the hotter vacuum cleaner from my previous video okay so as you can see it's uh, done pretty well so far uh, if you see these bits and bobs here, there were quite a few uh, paper pieces which it picked up, so quite impressive and not too bad. Let's see if we can pick uh, these couple of hair up as well. <laughs> Okay, the first impression so far, it looks to me as if it's slightly better than what I had before from Hoter uh, vacuum cleaner. So definitely a slight bit of improvement. Early impressions, it's looking good, not too bad. Okay, people, so now I've got the Hoter uh, vacuum cleaner. That's the one I reviewed a few months ago. And I wasn't that impressed by its performance. It was just about okay. It wasn't as strong in suction. The early impressions so far from Auto Grandpa is that it seems to be a bit better than this. So let's try this out on the same mat like we did with the Auto Grandpa and see how the hotter performs as opposed to what we had from before. <laughs> I don't know guys if you can see but uh, from my understanding it is behaving exactly the same way as it was uh, a few months ago when I tried to clean that front end of the carpet there it's still not picking up all these bits and bobs here which auto grandpa was was uh, easily able to uh, pick up you know as you can see this side of the mat is much more cleaner as opposed to what we have on that side you can see those threads there those dust particles stuck in the mat are still there as opposed to what you have on this side which is far more especially this area far more cleaner 
I know it's difficult to explain the camera guys but trust me from what I can see uh, practically using it um, the auto grandpa does definitely seems to be better than the hotter uh, vacuum cleaner so now you can see this bit here which you picked up with the auto grandpa this white bit here uh, this is the paper or tissue I think so let's see if this picks up and it cleans it. it should be able to pick it up though but the overall level of cleanness like I said is not as impressive as with, with, with the auto grandpa so let's give this a try It's picked up straight away, that's good. The problem with the hotter is that you have to work really hard to get the results and which can be annoying at times. What's the point of having a handheld if you're going to be there for at least a couple of hours trying to, you know, uh, vacuum your car up? Uh, I will be testing Auto Grandpa again soon after this guys and see if I have to work equally as hard. Like I said, the early impression so far is Auto Grandpa seems to be a bit more powerful, a bit more efficient than Hotter. But in general, I'm finding that using these car um, handheld uh, vacuum cleaners is a bit of a hard work as opposed to getting a regular say Henry or something like that, which will clean your car up in just a few minutes. This is more to do with obviously uh, portability. If you're traveling, going long distances, you can put it in a bag and carry on with you for basic general cleaning for exhaustive detailed cleaning this is hard work so let's get back to the auto grandpa and let's clean the rest of the mat and see how that performs <laughs> As you guys can see, again, uh, the same principle holds for all these uh, handheld uh, car vacuum cleaners. You have to work very hard uh, for you to even get one match. You can see I've tried two different uh, vacuum cleaners, the Hotter and uh, the Auto Grandpa. And I've hardly been managed to uh, just clean just the one mat. I've been on it for the last 5-10 minutes. That's excluding the uh, the video edits obviously the quite a lot of things you guys probably won't see the extra footage that i've been deleting now to get this video up and running on youtube but uh, in general about five to ten minutes of hard work with just one mat and still this doesn't look as clean as it should be but in general uh, like i said if you look at the state of the carpet now uh, the mat now it's a lot more cleaner than what it was with hotter uh, vacuum cleaner okay so now i've got this hose uh, uh, connected at the front of auto grandpa vacuum cleaner so see if this makes any difference and does it clean any better so let's turn this on there we go it definitely helps uh, in cleaning difficult to reach areas like around there as you can see that's a bit more difficult so it's handy to have a, a pipe and a hose like this. It helps. Okay, so let's try around this area, just next to the mat, as you can see in the carpet. Not making much of a difference. It's cleaning it up though, but not as good as I hoped. So now let's remove this accessory. Obviously this is for uh, difficult to reach places, like for instance, in your cup holder in your car here. That's where you clean it. 
that makes a bit of a difference. Uh, to be honest, the suction is not as strong. It's just about okay. -ish. Okay, so now I have got this uh, brush uh, accessory hose attached. So let's see if this makes any difference and is able to clean that area along here on the carpet, just uh, on the borders of the mat, see if it makes any difference. Well, that makes a big difference to be honest. As you can see all of a sudden, within a few seconds, the brush is helping get all the dust out and then the hoover is trying to suck as much as it can. That's not looking too bad. Some of the bits are a bit more heavier. It's not sucking. But uh, this is in a much, much better shape as opposed to what it was before you can see guys. That's down to, like I said, uh, a bit more power on the Auto Grandpa. Uh, seems to have a bit better suction than the hotter uh, vacuum cleaner and hence you can see the results all the way along the side here along the door all the carpet looks very very clean in just a few seconds and obviously I'm not gonna lie the brush also uh, makes a difference so uh, that plays a role but then again uh, brush is as good as nothing if uh, there's no suction power coming from the actual vacuum so uh, impressive a bit better than hotter not by miles but nevertheless a slight improvement um, so far Okay, so now I have removed the mat completely and the car's carpet is fully exposed, which is also quite dirty, especially long hair, as you can see, guys, on this side. So let's try the Hoover and let's see how this performs then. Okay, so as you can see guys, after cleaning it for a good few minutes, the state of the carpet is much much better and this is by, uh, by no means any stellar performance but uh, definitely a bit more improved as opposed to the hotter um, vacuum cleaner. I am right now sweating, I've been cleaning for like now 10 minutes, obviously that uh, it's a bit of effort required to shoot the video, put the camera, stand and everything else but in general I think in my opinion of using a couple of car vacuum cleaners now this is hard work and this is for the occasion cleaning when you go out and about on a holiday on a long drive and you got nowhere else to get your car cleaned up and you can do this on the occasional bits here and there but still for uh, proper cleaning uh, consuming less time uh, I think still Henry's of this world and the Dyson's of this world are better uh, vacuum cleaners as opposed to something like this but for portability for usability uh, taking them along a uh, car vacuum still have a bit of a role to play as long as you have the strength and you're physically strong enough to sustain a good half an hour to 45 minutes of bashing whilst you try to clean all the mats of your car so guys if you like my video please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and a huge thanks to uh, auto grandpa for sending me uh, this review unit i will be posting a couple of videos and some pictures on my social media so please do keep an eye and i shall see you in the next video